This is the 2022 Audi S3 you're looking at here. It's been redesigned this year. Uh, pretty much new sheet metal, new styling all around. See a little S3 badge in there. And of course the Audi Sport grille. Uh, Audi always does some really nice lights. These ones look pretty good too. Uh, I like these these fairly large wheels and tires. See Bridgestone Potenza summer tires on this one. This one is in Daytona Gray Pearl. Not the color that I would go in, but it's certainly a pretty nice looking gray. So we go around back here. You'll see some good looking LED lights in back. Of course, this being Audi S3 model, we have good quad exhaust. Inside, this one is the uh, an all black interior with some nice white stitching on these uh, fairly nicely quilted seats. Like that a lot. They are the Audi S seats. Uh, let's hop in though. Here's your dash design here. You have a mix of uh, a big digital screen along with some physical controls for your climate controls. Uh, you have a strange-ish design. You have some stitching up there, some carbon-ish type weave uh, stuff going on here. Uh, some pods on either side of your cluster for the vents. Digital instrument cluster, of course. Uh, it gets weird with the shifter. You have a little nub here, back for drive, forward for reverse. Uh, and then you have a very strange volume, uh, I guess, twirl thingy that you can use with your finger. Go around like this to turn the volume up, like that to go down. Uh, quite odd, uh, but you can change the volume by the steering wheel guy here too, which is much easier. In the back, there's not a ton of space. Of course, this thing is Audi A3 based. Uh, so you're on the smaller side of sedans. Not a lot of leg room. And these seats certainly take up a lot of space. They are big and thick. Uh, and then, of course, you have a trunk, not a hatchback. If you want a hatchback, maybe there's a BW GTI or Golf R. But this one has a fairly small trunk.